So hey saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and who? Yeah, you. Oh. They gotta hear you to think you're here. Oh, okay. Church granny chat lady today. There's so much to, for her to think about. Why does she need to be worried about her name, right? That's right. To God be the glory. He knows my name. He, he knows her name. Mm -hmm. What's your name? <laughs> when the roll is called. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we got Brother Jimmy... An older man. Never seen before. Never seen him before. And the Lord is totally convicted him. He takes his cigarette box. I don't know if he's seen it or not, but he takes his cigarette box and crushes it. Oh, he did. Yes, he did. And he starts crying and he's repenting and the Holy Spirit is dealing with him. And um, who was that that was out here today? Did you say? It was Walnut. Oh, yeah. We probably, well, not, anyhow, the they were feeding, and yes, um, yes. the people that came to work and the people that were in line, this man hits his knees. Yes. He's crying out to the Lord. Yes. Yeah, for, I mean, it was totally like... And then he turned and started speaking to the people. Just reverential fear of the Most High God, and they're all just standing there talking and being rude and laughing at him. La yeah. They were laughing at him. And it's like, it scared me because I'm like, is lightning going to come out of the sky and kill people? Um, yes, I don't know what. This man was so overwhelmed with the Spirit, Spirit of God. It was so wonderful to see that he, you know, we've had him cry and repent and get saved and you know, just be filled with the Spirit of God, but he's the first one that hits his knees in the parking lot. He was not young. No, he was not. And I mean, it was real. He was speaking to the church people, yes, the religious he people, he and then he turned the and spoke to the people that were in line to get fed, and it was like, wow, and he was so overwhelmed. He said, I, I gotta go. I can't do this. I got to go. And he said, I'll be back. So he, he actually left and uh, went and got a bigger coat and came back. And just sat and waited and waited and waited. And, um, wow. It was awesome today, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Because we didn't know if they were going to come and feed or not. And we are just, we prayed yesterday and hoped that they would. Yes. But we found out, oh, hey, remember what he told us? The water main broke on, and all of the businesses and everything are closed on a fall along state line. State line. Seven. Line. And I said, well, you know, we did oh, pray man. yesterday at the corner of Hickory and Ninth, and people weren't listening. And I said, it's not like God broke the water main, but he is interrupting he this is. station. He's interrupting your life, and he is trying to get your attention with a special message. Yes, so is. we just came to warn folks. I've been coming right. warning folks for a year now. He's and, coming uh, back. When? I don't know when. I'm glad you said that because we're not date setters. No. Okay, he'll come when it's time. Oh, yes. His time, everything's his time, but he's going to warn his children. He is, and he, he is. He is warning them. And we're trying to warn them, but I guess what I was so disheartened about was the church folk. Oh, they don't um, know. Not honoring that man. And I'm like, do folk realize they're dishonoring God? If they don't. And uh, so I told Brother Jimmy, he was so, he was so grieved. He was just crying. I said, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Have, ask God to have mercy on them. I said, the way that he showed us mercy, we need to ask that God show them mercy because I'm like, did they know what they're doing? And then I watched, I watched the guy go over there and completely ignore him. Church chat, Granny? Oh, yes. And I thought, he does know what he's doing. The preacher? Yeah. He yeah, does he know what, what he's he doing. doing. And they were mocking, and, and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Lord, I'm not going to get upset. I'm just going to say, Lord, have uh, mercy, mercy on, on him. him. And that's all I can do. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. So, uh, what kind of hit your spirit when you found out that Salvation Army wasn't feeding 
there was no water. Um, they said there wasn't uh, different places, just everything was shut down and because of water. But what did what did you what did you what that what did you do? Well, it just it just hit my spirit that you know God is in control and He is touching a lot of places and people to know that He is God and He is the supplier. He supplies all of our needs. It says in His Word that He's going to. He He's shall supply all of our needs, needs according, according to His, his riches, riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Jesus. That's right. And He will bless us and abundantly above all that we can yes, ask for. Yes, and things. these people don't know how to pray. Well, shouldn't somebody teach them? got an incoming right here. I see him. I know. I do. Is he on your side or my side? He's on this side. Okay. Yeah. I, like I said, an incoming. Nope, he's still walking. Uh, that's that same guy, ain't it? From that's yesterday. The same, no, that's the same guy from the last time. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Thank you. We're all done. We don't feed you. Yeah. We just give you the bread of life. <laughs> you want the bread? Yeah. Now, the last time he came and we were sitting here in your car, and he wanted to know oh, this and that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it is uh, him. Uh, they're, they're done feeding. They're all gone. Oh. Need to come at noon. Well, he might not know. Oh. Oh, probably because he's seen us parked over here. I guess so. Yeah. Hey, at least we spoke to him this time. Yes, like well, last time was, he he just kind of did weird. It didn't last look time. right, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I pray for that guy over there mowing the grass as Me cold too. and wet as it is. I bet he heard some gospel today. I bet he did too. I'll tell you what, he heard some good stuff. So what's next, Lord? Oh, for sister Lord. with a testimony and church chat, Granny. Mm -hmm. Put this stuff in the van and. Yes. Go somewhere and get warm. Yes. Uh, it's warm in here. Yes, it feels good. But I don't even good. have seat warmers like you do. Oh, I know. We go my seat and I warm you. Your hands okay? It's getting warm. Woo! I don't know. When I was in her car, you know, a couple weeks ago, <laughs> she had the seat warmers on. I didn't know about it. I had your seat Man, on. I was having some kind of mm, meltdown. Woo! <laughs> it's hot in here, too. But I do have the, the, the it's cranked. So, yeah. Anyhow, it's church chat granny in the field, mm -hmm. saving souls, yes. giving her wisdom out, having to be exposed to religious people, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Yes. I used to feel bad about turning away from people now. I'm like, yeah, oh, no. according to the word of God, it you got to do it. It does not bother me. Um, I love everybody, and I yes. want them to get saved, yes. and I want them to live right, but I can't work out anybody's salvation for them. No. they got to work it out themselves. It's called the walking God. by faith. you got to do your own walking. Just walk with faith. Mm -hmm. It's sister with a testimony in. Chat Granny today in the field. In the field, y'all try it Sunday. sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tex so. Arcana. It's time you woke up. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wake them up. Wake them up. Lord's waking you up. Y'all be sure to give us one of them. And mm -hmm. they said that we should be asking people to subscribe to our channel, and I'm thought. This is what I'm thought. Okay, I thought so. if I gotta ask them to subscribe when they already know that if they like the channel they should subscribe. Right. Right? Right. If God wants us to do it, won't he tell them to subscribe? Absolutely. And if they like the video, they'll automatically push the little like button. So in other words, we're not trying to get likes and subscribers. If there's one person out there that gets blessed. 
yes. and turns from their wicked ways, then we've done what we're supposed oh, to do. Oh, amen. And we're praying for you. So, Father God, I just lift up the name yes. of Yahushua Hamashiach, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I speak declaring and decreeing that whoever's watching this video to the end will not only be blessed, but, Father God, they will come out from among them. They will turn from their wicked ways, come out from among them, and be separate. And you said yes. you would be their God, and they would be your people. Father, yes. I plead and apply the blood of Yahushua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, over every human being that can hear the sound of my voice. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus to hide, protect, and keep them. Yes. Father God, if they're not saved... You're the yes. only one that can save them. Yes, if they're not delivered, you're the only one that can deliver them. Father God, I ask that your fire fall wherever they are at right now. Let them feel the presence of the Most High God. Yes, Lord. And Lord, let them desire a relationship with you. Father God, you know their name. You made them exactly who they are. You didn't make any junk. It doesn't no. matter who they are or where they're at or what they're in right now, Lord. You are the only one that can touch them. Touch. Yes. Father God, you're the only one that can touch them and save them. Yes, Father God, have mercy, 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 because mercy triumphs judgment. I love you. God bless you. It's sister with a testimony.